we're going to talk through we're going to talk through these so number 17 so with these ones that have fractions in the bottom so they have a two in the bottom for pretty much everything except for this 3x right here right so there's a understood one underneath that so what you got to do is you know we're kind of going back to uh, elementary school and we're thinking about common denominators for just a second right the common denominator the common bottom of the fraction is a two we would love for everything in this to have a denominator of two so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert, right, 3x over 1 to be something out of 2. Okay, so I'm doubling the bottom, right? I'm doubling the bottom, which means I have to double the top to make this thing equal. So 3 times 2 is just 6x. So I could rewrite this whole thing as uh, 7 over 2x plus 1 over 2x is equal to 6x over 2 plus 3 over 2 plus 5x over 2 okay and so uh, when we do that you know the really nice thing is all of these are out of 2 you'll see that see how the bottom is all the same so the bottom is taken care of because I have a comma denominator the nice thing about this is I can just take what's in the top. So all of this in the top, 7x plus 1x equals 6x plus 3 plus 5x. And I can write a new equation with that. So I can basically forget about the bottom. And I can write this equation as 7x plus 1x equals 6x plus 3 plus 5x right here. Okay, so uh, sometimes I like to draw a line through these to represent like whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do on the other side. So if I were to do anything over here, like take something away or add something to this side, I need to do that here too. So anytime I change the weight of a side, I have to change the weight of the other side because I have to keep these values equal to each other right so all we're going to do first is combine we're going to kind of group some things together so 7x and 1x can be grouped right they can be grouped to form 8x so i haven't changed the value of this side i haven't added anything or taken anything away extra right um, all i've done is just kind of made these a little bit simpler to look at 7x plus 1x is 8x total okay and then i have some things that can be grouped over here uh, i have a 6x that can be grouped with a 5x that's going to be 11x in total plus three okay then the question becomes right i want to group my x's on one side of the equal sign so on one side of this line here, and I want just the number, right, with no x attached. So here, in this case, it's 3. I want that on the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so I'm going to move my 11x. <clears throat> I'm going to move it over with the 8x. So I do that by subtracting. Now, because I subtracted on this side, I have to subtract on this side, too. So I have to do 11x subtracted over here. That's going to get uh, these 11x's to cancel, okay, and, and make a zero right there. So now we have 8 minus 11x is a negative 3x, and that's equal to, I'm going to bring down our 3. So I have negative 3x equals 3. We're going to divide by... Attention, negative Mr. three Students. here. Now can I have Miss Surveyor's class to come down okay. and go to Coach Rick's So when Rick's we do class, that, Miss Surveyor's class to come down and go to Coach Rick's class. We get negative one. Okay. So that's going to be how that first one with the fraction works out. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to 
uh, go to this next one. All right, so this next one, 17, that we asked about. I'm going to go ahead and draw my line because there's nothing that I can group on uh, either side of the equal sign. I need to go ahead and move some things over. All right, so uh, I can't combine this X with this number without an X. I can't combine this X with this number without an X. But I can start and I can move things over. Okay, so I can uh, take this 1.6X and subtract it. Okay, that's going to get it to cancel, right? I want something to cancel. But because I subtracted 1.6X on the right-hand side, I also need to subtract it on the left-hand side. Because remember, these things are equal. I want to make it equal. So each side's got to have the same thing, same operation done to it. That's going to give me a 0.1X minus 15 is equal to negative 8. Okay. Uh, now I need to group just the number with just the number. So I have to do that when I move it from one side to the other, all right? To get it to cancel, I have to do the opposite operation. So instead of negative 15, the opposite of that is positive 15, okay? That's going to get that negative 15 to cancel on that side. But because I did it to the left-hand side, I've got to do it also to the right-hand side. So plus 15. All right, so you have 0.1x is equal to uh, negative 8 plus 15 is going to be a positive 7. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 0.1. Okay, you have to divide by the number that's in front of the x, the number that is right there with the letter. So 7 divided by 0.1, and we're going to get that x is equal to... 70 for that one for 18 all right we're gonna move on to uh the next one is 26 okay so another fraction problem but look what i noticed right off the bat is i see that this has a denominator of four this has a denominator of four this has a denominator of four and this has a denominator of four so I can pretty much just disregard the denominator and just write an equation that is represented by the top because the bottoms are all the same, right? They're all equal. So I can just set the top equal to each other. I have 1m equals 2, 3m minus 1. And now I can just go and solve this, this problem. So that problem that looked really difficult with the fractions is actually pretty simple. Um, all I'm doing is solving the top because those denominators are all equal already. So all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to move some, some m's around. Uh, I'm going to take this 1m and move it over here with the 3m. So to get that to cancel, it was positive. Now I need to subtract 1m. So I'm going to subtract 1m over here. I have to be equal on both sides with what I do. So this is going to just uh, bring the 3 down. My M's cancel, cancel that in red right there, okay? And three is equal to a three M minus one M is two M. Again, I'm gonna bring the one down, minus one. So I need to move my one over to the other side with the three. Because it's negative one, I gotta do the opposite to move it. All right, that gets it to cancel on this side. All right, so 3 plus 1 is 4 is equal to 2m. We always divide by what is next to the letter. So we're going to divide by 2. And so we get that m, in this case, m is equal to 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 